Alberto? You said you're gonna. Yep, go ahead. So, Aldo, find the suture line. It's really, really, genuinely impossible to find. I, I cannot find anything. No. Nothing. So, we have Aldo Superstar trying to find the suture line on a patient that just came in for a one year follow up. And he immediately saw Aldo and said, you're Aldo, as everyone in this office does. Aldo's a folk hero around here. Doctor, you did it again. <laughs> and uh, honest to God, I cannot find anything here. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, ready? I'll show you. So, we did a uh, max harvest hair transplant procedure on our patient Alberto uh, one year ago. And when we do that max harvest hair transplant, what we do is we want to move as much hair starting all the way around the front, building evenly, and then just continue as far back as we can go. So when we do that, we start all the way from the one side. I'm going to show you how the suture line looks. And Aldo was just looking for the suture line. This is right It's barely, barely, barely. I mean, if you don't know what you're looking at, you can find it. So, tiny little undetected line. And just kind of fall around. So, you can shave this and you won't be able to see it. And yours is like this as well. You can't find yours either. No. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? So, patients travel across the world um, seeking out a technique called follicular unit extraction to get a. Um, what they believe is a scarless procedure. However, there's no such thing as a scarless procedure. The follicular unit extraction causes more scarring. It won't get you nearly as an undetectable tooth drawing as that. And it's just going all the way across. I don't even know where it is again. Yep, there you go. There it is. See how quickly it disappears? Oh, well. That's it. So you are a great patient, my friend. You did great. You. you healed awesome. How was the process for you? Oh, it was great. Actually, no problems. Yeah. Uh, one year. Uh, amazing. Uh, no pain. Nothing. You know. Uh, awesome. Very ple pleasant experience. You know. And again, he's as he said he's the best. <laughs> no question you. about it. No Thank question you, about There's it. no substitute mm -hmm. for Dr. Morton, right? No. No uh, substitute. So tell me what your friends were saying. You said uh, Actually, you to your friends. They don't. Uh, I mean, there's only my family who know, who knew, who knows about this. But um, basically, what they said is like, uh, I don't know. You look um, either a little bit stronger, or you look a little bit, you, you know, look better. Uh, you they, look they better. Can't pinpoint why there you look may be a couple of people who probably they notice something. And like, what do you do to your hair? I said, well, I take a lot of vitamins. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> vitamin unless look. you know, I uh, I got a couple of people who already I I. Um, you know, I talk about Dr. Bolton, and, uh, and I have to tell them, you know, that I, that I had a procedure. But um, are you using, great. Are you using Propecia? Yes, one yeah. year. Uh, okay, excellent. Uh, and are you using Rogaine as well? No. no okay. Did Propecia. you do the Rogaine after the procedure for six months or no? Uh, no, actually, I did it uh, when I came for the first visit. You asked, asked me to, to start right. taking it for about two weeks before the procedure, and it has been like a year. And um, you know, it's okay. great. And so you're still on the Propecia. Propecia and you know, eating good and some vitamins. But uh, awesome. and did I mean, you have pain throughout the procedure? How was the healing process? Anything was unusual? Great after a week. Any bad swelling? Any no swelling? No. Nothing. Excellent. Nothing. And how soon were you back in the gym? Did you follow instructions? Um, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, three weeks actually. Okay. Three, three All right. Weeks. Excellent. Well, I my suture, my um, my uh, stitches out, then yeah. I went to, to the gym. And do you have a uh, younger wife or a new girlfriend? No, no, my, my, my same wife <laughs> of 24 years. Look at that. I have Perfect. a different approach, you know. I mean, I, I just listen to what you hear, you know, that you didn't want to tell, you know, a lot of people that you had the surgery. Actually, you know, when I left the surgery and after three months, six months, and such an amazing result, I had a different approach to the problem. You know, I was so proud of it. I was so impressed, you know, by what the doctor, you know, did to me. So actually, I yeah. wanted everybody to know. So I went to see the doctor and said, you know, if you want to use my picture, if you want to use my interview, if you want to use anything I can do to help you, because there's so many 
funny doctors, you know, trying oh, yeah. to pretend they are halfway decent, you know, and they can't even, they can't even, they're not even as close, you know, what doing to uh, with Josh, you know, with the doctor, right? We're sending um, every month on the, on the day that the, the, um, the surgery, you know, the, um, let's say the 6th, I had the surgery on the, the 6th of last year. Uh, so on the sixth of every month, I was sending pictures of the exactly. progress. Yeah. Every month, and we got like GQ month. shots each yeah. month. Yeah. So Eldo yeah. grew like right away. He had like one of these crazy fast results at three months. Yeah. And uh, one of my buddies had was a shaved head guy as well. And so I saw his results, and I'm like, I want you to talk to my friend. So he was so so sweet. He called my buddy right up, sent out pictures, live pictures, immediately talked to him. You know, trying to encourage him. He comes in the office every time anybody wants to uh, meet with him. No, I mean, if, if a, I see a for, for example, a spokesman. So, so <laughs> some family members that they meet it, I talk to them and they know. So it's up to them. You know, they 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 don't like. Uh, well, you know, you have to spend some money yeah. to get these this results. You know, in, uh, I think it's a small investment for, for that life, kind of result and for life. Yeah. You know, and we find ourselves feel all better, confidence you back. Like, you know. Yeah. I mean, personally, that changed my life, you know, my, so my, in one surgery, to have the, I mean, You two are two perfect examples of two types of, uh, different types of hair and two different results from the same type of case, just due to different densities. Um, I always tell each and every one of my patients it takes two procedures in the same area for what I like to call a finalized product. Um, however, they're not required ever to do more than that one procedure. The first procedure, we're trying to set up the framework where we're creating the artistry, putting in the soft little grass, blending in and overlapping to the existing hairs. Whereas when we do the second procedure, we're able to really focus on density, not have to do as many of the smaller grafts, and can really take advantage of the blood supply that's already established by getting next to those existing grafts with a high density graft in order to really fill, fill in the dots and make it a lot thicker. So he's a perfect example of a patient that, without a doubt, needs a second case. But that's what I call a great start, and we should definitely be able to wind him up with a second procedure. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Thank you, you stay, stay right there. We're going to do a couple things with you. Okay. Pop your feet up there for me, please. Put your feet up there. Oh, yep. Okay, wonderful. And you're just going to face straight ahead? Yep. Just, no, here. Put your feet on the thing. Okay. Yep. We did the wrong rotisserie. <laughs> okay, I want you to take this comb and just kind of, you know, brush your hair looking at, uh, take your fingers kind of, you know, mess your hair up with your fingers, kind of feather your hair a little bit. When I'm shampooing, it's, it's like I feel like like I got a woman here. Now, <laughs> awesome. Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna just turn you towards the um, camera, and I just want you to kind of take the comb and try to show your suit showing to the back of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> slow, 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 slow. There you go. Nice and slow. Awesome. Did you have any questions for us about anything at all? Is there anything you want to ask Aldo? No, everything, is, everything is fine. Yeah. You know, I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. I'm happy for you. And we really appreciate you doing the videos. Um, yeah, so it's my more, pleasure, you know. If I can help somebody else to do it. My, you know, everyone who's on my website, Aldo obviously, they all want to be on the website. And I'm so appreciative. I Thank you guys for watching every one of the videos. Every patient comes and they say, I watch every video. And I mean, for example, he, he saw Aldo and he's like, Aldo, just today, just met him. So that's pretty common. So anyways, thank you for watching and I uh, look forward to speaking to you soon.